To all who come to this happy place, welcome. Disneyland is your land. Here age relives fond memories of the past. And here youth may savor the challenge and promise of the future. Disneyland is dedicated to the ideals, the dreams, and the hard facts that have created America. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a Spore the Mouse podcast. A podcast by Disney lovers for Disney lovers. Come join us as we dive into the wonderful world of Disney. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Explore the Mouse Podcast. I'm your host, Eric Legaikis, and Casey's back. Hey, guys. Uh, She is feeling a lot better. And sounding a lot better. (laughs) Sounding a lot better from our last episode. Uh, And officially, Happy New Year. Happy Happy 2019. Yes. Last time we talked to you was actually New Year's Eve. Uh, and today is now, I don't even know, the 7th of January. Gosh, it's crazy. I know, it is crazy. Um, but time is flying, and it is already the new year. I mean, we're seven days, well, a full week into the new year already. Yeah. I don't even know where the time's going. Um, but we are super excited to start off 2019 uh, with some great podcasts. Uh, and if you guys head over to explorethemouse.com under our podcast schedule, uh, you can see what we have coming forth, I think, all the way through the first week or second week of February. Yeah, we've put together a really cool schedule. Uh, we sat down and had to move things like several times to try to get things in uh, a working order. So we're pretty happy with what we came up with. Yeah, and if you guys head over, you can see it. we were originally going to start off with um, pretty much Year of the Mouse. But then we realized uh, pretty much last minute, we were like, oh, this is Marathon Weekend. Well, because we started having things starting to pop up on our Facebook, um, like memories timeline because we did it, uh, three years ago, right? Uh, yeah. Three years ago. Um, so it started popping up and we were like, Oh shoot, it's race weekend. So, so that's what this episode is about. It is a run Disney run. Yeah. Uh, and this is about not even just this weekend's marathon. This is just about all the actual different races that you can do throughout, mm-hmm. um, around Disney parks all across the country or actually the world. Cause yeah. I think they do some marathons overseas as well. Mm-hmm. Um, but we did this uh, marathon weekend that's coming up this coming weekend. Yeah. This what are is the, the big one. What are the dates of this weekend? Uh, I'm not even oh, sure. Geez, I just had them. Hold on. Uh, think... Starting January 9th, but January 9th is when the expo opens. And the expo so the is really is fun. actually on the weekend. So that's going to start this coming weekend. Today's yes. Monday the 7th. They'll be yes. starting this week. So Expo starts on Wednesday, and it's open Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Uh, 5K starts on Thursday. And then um, this is the big one of the year. So mm-hmm. this one has a 5K, 10K, a half, and a full, where some of them just have 5K, 10K, and half. So, And we did this, like I said, th- about three years ago. And three years ago. It was so much fun. My dad started doing them uh, over a decade ago and always did the Dopey Challenge. Like from year one, literally, <laughs> I've talked to you guys before. I hope my dad has worked with Disney on several projects. And his first year, he showed up as a keynote speaker and didn't realize that he was supposed to be running the marathon. So my dad is very fit, has always been athletic, and was working with Disney Health he showed up in basketball shorts. We have a picture of him on the front line, starting line that morning in basketball shorts. And if you don't know, you don't run at basketball shorts, especially if you're running 26 plus miles. So, um, but he did it. He didn't tell anybody that he didn't know he wasn't supposed to be running or that he was supposed to be running. And he showed up and did it. And from that year on, he decided he would commit to doing the dopey race, which mm-hmm. if you're not familiar is a weekend of the 5k, the 10k, the half and the full. So you run all four events. Uh, it's crazy. And if you do it props to you, that's yeah, seriously. craziness. And I, I remember when we did it three years ago. Um, yeah. So watching... sorry, that was a little tangent, but he yeah, got yeah. us in on, a, on yeah, doing he, it. He got us in on it. But I remember like three years ago, um, 
we did the half marathon. Mm-hmm. We just and did the half, yeah. We went to Hollywood Studios the day of the full marathon to try mm-hmm. to see your dad. And yeah. unfortunately, we didn't get a chance to see him running. He had apparently already run past yeah. where we were when we th- we were like, oh, we've got plenty of time. We were time. tracking his time. We waited for so long looking for him, and we never found him. Um, but we unfortunately didn't find him. But I, I, I could not imagine... Like running yeah. a five, a 10, a half marathon and a full marathon in four days. I mean, I remember saying when we finished the half, because he, that was his commitment to me. I was not a runner. And he said, if you want to do the half marathon, I will run by your side the entire time. Now he could have taken off if he wanted to care about his time. He could have taken off and been finished before I was halfway done with the half, but he stuck with me. And my mom as well. But I remember finishing the half marathon, crossing the finish line. And I remember looking at him and saying, Dad, excuse my language, you are bat crazy for wanting (laughs) to do double this tomorrow on top of doing this and two other little races. Like, that's just a lot. So if you have done it, props to you guys. Because that's well, a, it's a huge deal. Let's talk about the weekend in general. Let's start from the very beginning. That's the yeah. expo. And the expo this year starts this Wednesday. The so in two days. The my favorite part. <laughs> the expo is so much fun. So it's held at um, ESPN Worldwide at Disney Sports. Yes. Or Worldwide at Sports. I'm, I don't even know what it's called anymore. It's, I think like it's changed over It's like years. my least favorite place to <laughs> even go. It's but such a big deal. It, but the, the expo itself is so cool. Uh, and if you guys have never been to any expo for any type of race, it is just a big convention, yeah. pretty much. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's pretty much a big convention that has vendors and all these different things for running, new products for running. Yeah. Um, and it's just kind of like a fun little celebration of that weekend and everything that people are going to be accomplishing. It's really fun because it's not only Disney merch. Like Disney has its Run Disney has its own tent. Um so it has, you know, race weekend t-shirts and sweatshirts and headbands and all that stuff. Um but it's also like smaller vendors come in and they're allowed to like do fun Disney sayings and Disney mm-hmm. designs. Um, New Balance releases their marathon weekend shoe, which yes. is really cool. Um, they usually have several different designs, mm-hmm. uh, but they release like a running shoe. That's a Disney theme. Um, and you, yeah, you can pick up new products. So if you and the swag bag that you get, yeah. is it's awesome. And yeah. if you guys don't know what a swag bag is, when you sign up for a race and you go and get your... It's the best part about running. Oh, it is. <laughs> uh, and you basically go and you get your... Uh, you get your bib. Your number and bib. You also get a shirt. You do get like an actual dry fit running shirt for doing whatever event you're participating in. Um, and you can use the bag for running or... Um, they have stations you can drop them off in like a locker before the event and then you go pick them back up. Um, so it's it's nice that you have that bag. But the expo is really cool because if you also want to look at new products, like I remember when we went, I was interested in new Fitbit, but I was mm-hmm. torn between Garmin and they have people that can help you like make those decisions. And that's where we stock up on our running socks for the year. The goo gel, um, the goo gels, all that type of stuff. Body glide, and um, you can also meet with like training groups because mm-hmm. there are groups that do this. They do all the events and they do other running things. And even if you don't live in the city that they're based out of, they do like virtual running groups where you can train with them mm-hmm. throughout the year. So that's cool. And then it's just like a meetup for the year. So. Well, let's speak about training real quick, yeah. um, just for a moment, because obviously. Training is so important when you do one of these. And I'll be honest, when we did it, I personally did not train like I should have. Yeah, we were a little lax. Um, And let me tell you, if you're going to do something like this, you have to train. Uh, And one of the the great training programs, and he was actually there uh, at the expo. He had his own (laughs) booth, is uh, Jeff Galloway, who your dad is friends with. Yeah, and Um, he has his own um, training method. I actually, I do the Galloway method when I run. mm -hmm. Um, It's different. Uh, You essentially 
run for a portion of time and then walk for a portion of time to allow your muscles to relax during the run. So you might, like when I started, it was, I would run for a minute, walk 30 seconds. Well, now I've gotten to the point where I can run six minutes, walk 30 seconds, run six minutes, walk 30 seconds. Um, but it's cool. You do see so many people doing the marathons that do the Galloway method and they run as a group yeah. and you hear all their little garments beep when and it's time to walk and they move over and then they come back. It's really cool. So, and, and we have no plug or any type of association with it, but Jeff Galloway is a great training. So if you guys are looking to train for any marathon, not even just Disney, yeah, uh, it's definitely a good um, training method. And I've tried it as well yeah. at the gym. And he has, it's, it's really great for beginners because I think that was yeah. my biggest thing was in my head being like, I can't run for a long distance, but he helped me go from, you know, running for a minute, walking for 30 seconds to a bigger ratio. Yeah. Um, but he does have some apps and he's available through the run Disney.com website. Um, he has a link and you can get a discount to training, um, with him. So, so training is uh, super important with it, but the the actual expo itself, like I said, there's just it's a lot of cool things. It's so um, fun. I mean, I mean you guys know I always say like go to the shops because that's like a ride in itself. The expo's nothing short of that. Um, now, if you guys if you guys don't want to shop at the expo too, um, we talked about this in one of our very first episodes. Actually, I think it was the very first episode about Disney Springs. Uh, there's oh, yeah. a store in Disney Springs, uh, West side called fit to run. Mm -hmm. Uh, you could actually buy the new balance shoes, the care, um, the special whatever character, the theme is, yeah, whatever. Yeah. I think the year we were there, it was Ariel. They had several princesses. They had like Daisy duck. That's right. Daisy, Ariel. Ariel. Uh, I can't remember exactly all the ones, but Belle and Snow White or something. Yeah. There was some cool ones and you can go to fit to run too and get all of your stuff. And I think they even give race uh, weekend discounts there. If you're running, they do actually most places in Disney spring will, yeah. but bring your bib with you because your yep. bib is what gets you that discount. So don't just think you can get away with saying, Oh, I'm registered or even showing mm -hmm. them on your phone. You need your bib. And they're good discounts. The some discount. of the places are up to 20% off of stuff. Yeah. Which Even is, some of the dining. I mean, non-alcohol mm -hmm. included, but yeah. your food. So, I mean, it's you, you get some significant stuff with this when you race. And, I mean, for the price of what you're paying, too, you know, it, it is good to kind of get all these, like, little discounts and the yeah. swags. What is the race up to this year? I know you were looking it up. Um, the f half and the full, each one individually is about 188 So around $200 by the time you put in your taxes. Um that's not bad. Honestly, uh -uh. like we do a couple events per year and pay around a hundred dollars, but they're not Disney property. You get really great opportunities to take pictures with characters. I mean, and you're in the magic bubble. Like we all know how I feel about the magic bubble. So, and we'll touch more on what happens during the events to talk about, yeah. um, like those character photos and stuff. But I think it's totally worth the money. And if you are a runner and you want to do the goofy marathon and a half, mm -hmm. which is the marathon and the half marathon, or you do the dopey, which is all four, you know, it's it's reasonably priced. I think goofy is around 350 400 and dopey's are almost $600. Yeah. Um, but you're also getting six medals if you do dopey. And the medals are really cool. Well, the that medals was—I did it for the medal. Yeah, <laughs> like the um, medal was my favorite part. I mean, I would—I wouldn't expect anything less from Disney yeah. going all out, but the medals are so cool. Yeah. Um, and they all start out from like the—I think the five K is just like a, a rubberized metal. Rubber. Yeah. All the way up through the half and the full, which are just um, amazing yeah. medals. And it's really cool in the days after or even the day that you run it. I don't know how people go to the park the day they run a half marathon or a marathon, but they do. We and the it's cool after. to see everybody in their medals because, like, you all wear them. And cast members say, congratulations, good job, you did it. Like, it's really cool to see um, that. Yeah. But they're totally worth it. Um, another thing, when you register – which you do ahead of time. I actually surprised. I think this is like the first year in a long time that there's still openings because yeah. when we did it three years ago, 
they opened it that day in March, and within two hours, the entire event was sold out. Like, there were six or so of us registering, and we were all trying to register at the same time, and you go into a queue, and we were worried some of us weren't going to get in. Anyways, when you register, you can also opt to have, like, your medal engraved afterwards with your time. Mm -hmm. You can get um, a special collector's marathon pin, which is really cool. And they're, it's a great price. It's like 15 bucks. Um, yeah. So we got those when we did it. But you have a lot of options to add special things as well. So they do – this is not just the only event. They do a bunch of events. This is the biggest one, like Casey said earlier. Mm -hmm. um, but some of the other uh, running events – and if you guys want to see what they are, go to rundisney.com, uh, and you can kind of check out all their stuff. But they have a wine and dine half marathon that they do yeah. during the um, – the food and wine festival, so which I think November, that would be a fun one to do. Huh? It's in November, first week of November. Yeah. I think that one would be a fun one to do. Um, the Disney princess half, that's a huge one. Mm -hmm. A lot of people. And, and, and the cool thing too, and we'll kind of get into some of that, but a lot of people dress up in characters. Yeah. It's really thing. fun to see everybody's costumes too. You get your serious runners that are there to, you know, like get top prize. Yeah. And then you have the, like the, I don't know what you want to call them the weekend warrior runners that yeah. just they get in groups and they all dress up and yeah. it's fun and the disney princess is one of those because every even guys dress up yeah and even like, guys have like some guys are like dresses tank with their green tutus <laughs> and their little fairy wings like running um probably one of my favorite is the star wars yeah uh i think the star wars is cool because it's obviously themed completely star wars you have Star Wars meet and greets along the thing, yeah. um, and everything is themed that, which is really cool. Uh, and they even have a uh, Star Wars virtual half marathon, yeah, which I never new, saw just before. Just in the last two or three years. Yeah, which I like. I said I've never seen that before, and it was kind of interesting when you mentioned it. Yeah, I was like, well, How so do you do virtual, a virtual half marathons are becoming a bigger thing. Um, so essentially. I don't, if you can pull it up, I don't know what the dates are, but they give you like a start date and an end date. They give you a decent amount of time and you on your own accord can complete 13.1 miles. You can either do it in one running or one, I was going to say sitting, but that doesn't make sense in one go, or you can split it up. It's up to you. Um, so even if you did 13 days and just did a little over a mile each day, yeah. um, you submit your times to the website and you get a finisher medal. Uh, it's sixty dollars to participate, which I think is yeah. actually yeah. pretty cool. It's worth that medal. Um, so you have to—I I looked it up. You have to complete it between January third and March thirty-first. Okay, so you have three months. Yeah, you have a <laughs> lot of time, uh, and then you do get a really cool pin at the end of it, uh, or pin a medal at the end. Oh of yeah, it. yeah, and it's a legit medal. It's not like a rubberized one or anything no, but if are... you if you do it you get your finisher medal uh a downloadable race bib and then a downloadable finisher certificate and if you participate in the rival run which is the star wars half marathon um weekend in the parks you can combine it with some of the other events to get the kessel run medal the kessel run challenge yeah so you get, like, multiple medals again. And let me tell you, the, the medal for the Kessel Run Challenge, oh, so cool. it's amazing. Um, it is just, it's a, it's awesome. Yeah, and you guys can see, like, the, the medals and stuff on the website. They show all of that stuff. Or you can even look at previous years. It's usually similar, but different. <laughs> yeah, well, this year, so this year is the, the half marathon one is actually a really cool Stormtrooper helmet. Oh, very um, it's fun. It's kind of, it's like really shiny kind of almost like gold uh the virtual one if you finish the virtual one uh, and you you don't have to do the half marathon you could just do the virtual one if you wanted to uh and that one is actually just a rebel fighter cool. like a silo or a yeah. profile picture of them yeah um it, it definitely is really really cool and uh i might actually think about doing the the uh, uh the, virtual the virtual one sometime yeah. i think that'd be kind of fun especially if i'm training because i don't like to run yeah but i do want to do another disney half marathon uh, I, I just had so much fun when we did it, and there's just so like you. It, it's hard to it's hard to really describe right now how cool it is to run through the parks. Oh, it's so fun. Um, you know, because like 
you could walk through the castle every day you're at the park, but getting there early in the morning, running through the castle where it's still dark outside, yeah. you know, like the sun's starting to come up. It's just a whole different feeling that you don't get. And each uh, marathon and half marathon route is different. Um, and it actually sometimes has varied from year to year. Like when we mm-hmm. did it, it was a new course from the year before. And I think they've since then switched back because it didn't get great reviews. Um, a lot but of people you were mad. run, Yeah. You run the backside of the cat. You run through the park before the parks are open. You run through some of the cast member areas. Backstage. Like you co- yeah, backstage. You come in through the back entrances. It's really cool. And... I mean, if you think about it, you're running at least 13.1 miles. Some mm-hmm. of you crazy people are running 26.2. <laughs> That's a long distance. So um, you could go from park to park. It's it's really neat. Um, I think one of the coolest things for me running that race was the park was cool. Coming through the castle, yeah. getting our, we did a photo in front of the castle. But I think the coolest thing for me is when we got to go backstage. Okay. Um, so I'm trying to remember where, oh, it was back over by uh, uh, Splash Mountain mm. is where we ran. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that's like where one of the parade routes starts and ends. Yeah. And when we went backstage, Disney had all the floats out. Yeah. And they had, <clears throat> there's some characters on some of the floats. Yeah. But they had all the floats out, like everything was lit up. It was really cool. Yeah. Um, they, it, it just wasn't like, hey, here's backstage. Yeah. It was like, hey, this is Here's all the floats. Here's some character. It was just really cool. The other really fun thing about them is um, it's not even every mile. It's like they're just sporadically Mm -hmm. spread about. But, yeah, there are characters there, and you can stop and take a picture with them. So some people do this just for the character interactions. Um, You can walk it. You're not required to run it um, if you are too slow they'll sweep you from the course (laughs) but by too slow i mean you have to be like super slow um but you can stop and take pictures of the characters you can interact with them so some people do it just to walk and get the character interactions which is cool yeah but yeah that backstage part was really fun i was slightly disappointed with the one that we did the character meet and greets yeah was very lax supposedly the full the next day had all the big yeah. stars like ours we had Oogie all Boogie. the like d list stars. yeah like i only remember oogie boogie i don't remember any other character Oogie and oogie boogie was like the biggest one like i remember um they had like the squirrel from emperor's new groove like it wasn't <laughs> even yzma <laughs> like, actually wait didn't they we have like um... that's weird like that's the bird from up but where's the dog and the old guy and the kid (laughs) like you know like they just picked like all these random side characters and put them in but supposedly normally the half is like everybody's there and then the same for the full but i remember my dad being like oh yeah i ran by like bud and or buzz and woody and i'm like where were they (laughs) we didn't see them and that was the only thing i think the biggest disappointment for me is that we didn't get to see many characters like that's I, okay i wasn't letting him stop because if i stopped i wasn't starting again. i did i she only let me do a selfie from a distance with oogie boogie <laughs> and he wasn't even looking at because me because if i stopped i wasn't gonna start again i did not train properly <laughs> so I, I finished it and i think i walked like one little tiny bit and other than that i mean my run isn't that fast but other than that i was like i can't stop we are going yeah yeah well Let's talk about, um, real quick before you kind of move on to a couple of things, but let's talk about, you, you're talking about pacing requirements. Yeah, yeah. Um, and this is just this is just to kind of help you out because you do have to keep a certain pace. You can't just walk the whole race and stop with every character and expect that you're going to finish. Yeah. You have to have... Uh, well, because six... they have to open the parks. <laughs> yeah. At some you have point. to have a 16-minute per mile pace is required. Uh, which basically means which that at the at the very end of so the last people to cross the finish line, they have a 
basically a sweeper and a bus. Yeah. Or I think it's a bus that's called the sweeper, isn't it? Yeah, I was terrified of the sweeper. And, which you shouldn't have. We were way ahead of But that. I was so scared. <laughs> I just had this vision of like this actual street cleaning bus coming just sucking and just you up sucking and... me up and calling me a loser. <laughs> I was well, terrified. You have to keep up a 16 minute mile and if you if that sweeper bus catches up to you, you have to get on it and they'll bring you to the end and you don't get to actually finish. So it is important to train a little bit so you can at least have a decent especially if you mile. want to stop and see the characters. Yeah. But the lines were never long. It wasn't like it wasn't like in the parks. There's like a line to meet a character because people are like going, so they just yeah. run up, take a picture, and then jump down a line and then. Kept Disney running. Disney recommends a pace of 15 minutes. I think if you're planning on stopping with characters, you should probably plan for like a 12 to 13 minute, <laughs> and that's just my opinion because you are gonna stop waiting a line. You're gonna hit up bathrooms at some point. Yeah, you know, there's just a lot of things and. You know, I know I hit up a couple of medical stations for uh, BioFreeze because uh, my knee was killing yeah. me towards Which the end. Which they are along the way as well as water stations and yeah. um, Tons actually of all lo- also like local high schools come out and they're like cheer squads and their bands are out. Like because at one portion you run on the Disney Highway and so you're not because you're going between mm-hmm. Magic Kingdom and Epcot or if you're doing the full... Hollywood Studios and probably all of them. I can't remember. I know um, it's I know it's Hollywood Studios, Magic Kingdom, Epcot. I don't. Animal Kingdom's really far, far, so I don't think they go to Animal far. Kingdom. I, you don't want to disturb the animals. That's fine. Um, but it's cool because when even when you think like oh, I'm just running through a parking lot or oh I'm just going to be running on the Disney Highway, they have all the local schools come out and there's DJs and bands. It's just really fun. Um. So. We talked a little bit earlier about some of the commemorative things you can get. Yes. Um, just to kind of give you guys an idea of what this year, if you guys are headed there uh, and you listen to this, and if you are headed there and you have a long drive, hey, this is a great podcast to also, listen to. And uh, Yeah. Registration's still open. So yes. if you have the weekend, you can still do it. I'm so surprised the registration's still open. So if, I, if I actually have like trained, I would probably think about maybe doing it last <laughs> minute. Um, but yeah, no. Um, but some of the cool commemorative items they have this year is they have some exclusive Mickey Mouse ear hats um, oh. that are strictly for the race. Um, some new pins, magnets, Christmas ornaments, um, even some custom uh, Disney race mugs for this year. Very cool. But I think one of the cool things um, that they, I mean, I'm not going to use this, but for the women, um, is if you've been to Disney parks recently, you guys have um, seen that they have pretty much teamed up with Dooney and Burke purses. Oh, yeah, they, yeah, that's not new. Well, it's fairly new over the past couple of years, isn't it? Sure. <laughs> Have they been teaming up with Dooney and Burke for a while? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I didn't know that. No, it's I've okay. only it's okay. I've only really started seeing it recently, like over the past few years it's when we visited. It's become bigger than it was. Uh, but, see, I yeah, guess I never really paid while. attention to it. But yeah. every store we go into, especially this last trip that we went on, yeah. Every single store had Dooney and Burke everywhere. Well, it used to be that you had to go to the Dooney and Burke store in either downtown Disney or Disney Springs. And I don't think they even Uh, have stores there anymore. No, they don't. Yeah. So now you could just grab it in the parks. Or you could get it. Like, I remember you used to be able to get them on Main Street in Disneyland in one of the collectible shops. Um, Well, they do have... They do have some... uh, Basically, some custom ones for the race. Oh. And they're actually pretty cool. They have one of them is a clutch, um, and it has Disney run or Disney. It has Mickey Mouse running on it, and it says "Every mile is magic." Oh, and that's cool. And then the cool. other one is an actual purse, which is really cool, and it has the castle with the fireworks and stuff in it. And it has Mickey running. Um, I down always like, like the, the patterns that they do. Oh yeah, they do so, a good job. If you're looking at, uh, you know, some swag, I tried looking for what type of shoes they have this year from New Balance, and I can't find them anywhere. Oh, interesting. Um, I looked all over their website, and they're not promoting any New Balance shoes. So. Maybe they don't do it every year. I don't know. But if they it do. Was like they, they released like five or six that year. So maybe they just do a collection every couple of years? Maybe. No, because they did them the year before, too. Yeah, I thought they were an every year thing, to be honest with you. Know, maybe they don't have um, a contract anymore. Maybe not, uh, which <laughs> which would be bad, because, I mean, they were really cool. 
Um, yeah, and they weren't like gaudy shoes. Like mm-mm. I don't know when when I'm saying like they were aerial themed. Like they weren't. It was just like on the laces they had like a little charm that was a shell and then on the side of the white shoe it basically just had like some hand painted yeah. um things that you would associate ariel with it they weren't like yeah, don't worry you didn't have a mermaid tail mermaid, coming mermaid, off the end. yeah <laughs> they didn't like have sequins <laughs> and things like that they were actually really cute i almost bought the um the Daisy Duck ones. Do you remember? They were super yeah. cute. They were just white with like purple laces and a Very little simple. pink back. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they were really cute. I don't um, even like Daisy Duck. No, but they were really cool shoes. And uh, I told you to get them, but we didn't. That's all right. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah. Um, I bought my favorite running shirt there, though, from like one of those small vendors. And oh, it yeah. says, uh, and she ran happily ever after. And that's the other thing about the vendors at the expo, too, is that a lot of them have, like, their own custom Disney-themed merchandise that yeah, you can buy. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's, like, nice so cool. that it's it's not like Disney's, like, nope, you can buy our merch and only mm-hmm. our merch. Like, they let people come in and, like, use fun sayings and stuff, so. Um, all right, so let's, let's talk to the spectators real quick. Yes. Because... Because this is fun for them as well. If... If this was, if it wasn't for spectators, I think these runs would completely suck. I agree. Um, you know, because I, if I go run outside, I'll be honest, I'm bored out of my it's mind. Kind of boring, yeah. <laughs> but when you have people cheering you on, especially down Main Street, when you when we took that turn down Main Street, yeah. and there was people cheering us on, it was just a really cool feeling. I think I cried the whole time we ran through Epcot because a it was almost done, <laughs> and b. Um, it was just really cool to see so many people there. Yeah. Um, and there were people throughout both parks, but I think for some reason Epcot, it was just like the sun was up. There were so many people and we were almost done. And mind you too, is like these, these races start early in the morning. Oh my God. So, because the parks open at nine, we got up at three thirty. We did. Yeah. Well, that's called, we, we also followed your dad's route, like running routine. Oh, like, yeah, that guy. <laughs> we, we had to follow the whole running routine of get up. We have to eat this here. We have to stretch. We, we have to stretch. To we have walk. Which, we walked like five miles before we ran. Yeah, the, 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 the what is it called? The corral. The corral. The corral was so far from like the loading or the bus loading area. Yeah. It was a long walk. Which my dad kept reminding us that like, Every other time he does it, he goes on the VIP bus and sits <laughs> in the nice, warm, cozy VIP bus until it's time to start. And then he just goes and walks to the front line. And he was like, no, I'll start in the K corral with you guys because they're like alphabetized. So he reminded us of that the entire time. <laughs> well, let's <laughs> let's get I'll back to all the way in the K corral. <laughs> Well, that's where we like to hang out. Yeah, that's... We're, the back of, we're the back of the classroom type people. <laughs> well, when you register, it asks you, like, what do you think your time will be? How long do you think it will take you to complete it? And so they they put you, yeah. you know, where they think. Because I would have felt like an idiot if I was in the A corral and I had all these people who actually have marathon times trying to run past me. And there I am, like like the rhinoceros and uh, Jumanji. <laughs> like, well, let's go back to the spectators real quick because yeah, there sorry. there is some really cool things. And now you don't, if you want to spectate and you're at the parks, hey, stop. That's what we did. When we went to Hollywood Studios the day of the, mm-hmm. the full marathon. Yeah. You know, we made we made sure that not only we were looking for her dad, but we wanted to make sure we cheered these people on because we just ran the half the day before. Yeah. And we knew how important it was to just, you know, support everyone running. And yeah. you see people that you can tell are struggling but they don't want to quit. And you and just like that little effort of someone clapping and cheering them on might give them enough to even go like an extra mile. Yeah. You know? Also it was really fun to be a spectator as well because people at that point they were so close to the finish line and it was mostly people who had like done all four events or at least the half and the full that were like running out of line to go grab a beer. Because they were like we 
we, we we're, we're almost done. Like, well, who cares if I carry a beer across the finish line? So it was just funny to see, or like going to grab popsicles or churros or whatever. Yeah. And well, I we... forgot that, yeah, Hollywood Studios was, it's still open during the mm-hmm. fall because you have to give them time to finish. So, and we went to, so we went to Hollywood Studios and cause we figured that would be the easiest park to walk around the day after, yeah. you know, a run. And we went to Hollywood Studios, and they, I was just thinking about that couple, and they were just running, and oh, they yeah. got they got out of the race, went to the stand, grabbed a beer, and then got back in and kept running and they just were drinking so it. Fun. They were having so much fun, but it was also <laughs> fun for us as spectators to be like, oh my god, how cool is that? And then we were telling other people that were running past us, like, go get a beer, just go get yeah. a beer. Who get you're almost done? Go get a beer. But it was cool because, like I said, it was fun to really cheer people on. And um, yeah. I actually ended up seeing a friend from Beaufort yeah. that was running in it, uh, Rich. And he was running in the race, and it was really cool. I just randomly saw him. Yeah. And it was just kind of, it was just really neat. But some of the cool things they do to kind of let the spectators be a part of this is they actually have these different packages that you can buy. You don't yeah. have to buy them, but if you wanted to, yeah, you can. Yeah, if you can. just... Even if you like you're going with someone who's running it and you don't want to buy a package, mm-hmm. you don't have to. You're more than welcome to watch from wherever. Um, but if you do buy a package, you get special seating and special bathrooms. And it's called the Cheer Squad, and they have two different packages: gold and uh, platinum, I believe. Yeah, yeah gold and platinum. And when you sign up, like so, just an example with the gold. You get a pretty much a squad bag. Mm-hmm. Um, you also get a stadium blanket and a cowbell. Um, Who you get a love viewing. A cowbell? You get a viewing area near Cinderella's castle, so you get like prime yeah. viewing area. Well, and that's really the cool. one where if you're just going with someone and you don't buy a package mm-hmm. because the park isn't open, you can't go sit by the castle. Yeah. So you'd have to have a gold or a platinum package in order to get into the park to sit by the castle and watch people. And then you also have, so from there, so let's say you're, let's say you go to Cinderella's castle and your loved one runs by, you can go back out and you also have prime seating at the grandstand at the finish line. Mm -hmm. So you can go back and watch them finish as well. It also includes beverages, private restrooms. I was going to say the bathrooms. That's a big deal. Yeah. And uh, it's only 65 for the one day and 85 for the two day race, which is not bad. Yeah. And then if you do the platinum, the platinum is really cool, um, is that you get everything I just mentioned in the gold, but you also get the race retreat entry, which is a big, yes, big yeah. thing because normal spectators cannot get into the retreat, which yeah. is kind of like the little after party yeah. type of thing. Um, but the platinum allows you to get in there so you can actually go with your loved one that finished, mm-hmm. um, you know, and hang out with them and get, grab something to drink, whatever. Um, it also allows you into the hospitality tent that also has live video feeds and current up-to-date results. The hospitality tent is where it's at. Oh, uh, it's really cool. Yeah. Um, good snacks in there. You also get continental breakfast. You get to experience character experiences as well. So you get to do these meet and greets with characters. You also get a catered brunch, uh, brunch, brunch. Um, <laughs> that works. They know. And then you have a specific area where you can meet your runner. So if you're going down there, uh, and that's 120 or 180, if you have the money to spend to do it, that actually is worth it. Yeah, I would um, say. I would say. I mean, if like you know, I would if, do it if you were running and I weren't. Mm-hmm. I I would do the spectator package. Absolutely, or the I, cheer squad. Because you get a you do get a lot. Um, you do get a lot with that package and yes, it's a little pricier, especially for the platinum, but you're also getting breakfast, a brunch, all these different meet and greets, prime seating. Like why would you not, you know? And it's just fun to be in it all. But that being said, we've also been spectators who haven't paid to be part of the cheer squad and have also enjoyed it. So I had a great time, you know, it's, You'll have fun either way, and you'll there's people around. It's not like you're just going to be standing like, oh, I didn't buy the package, so I'm just standing on this corner by myself. There's people everywhere, no matter what. So, And I, make a sign, because people love it. Yes. It's so fun. And dress up, too. It, yeah. I know it sounds uh, weird, but dress up. And dress up as like some characters. Like If you have some people that are running that are you know, going as, I don't know, Alice in Wonderland. Yeah. 
dress up with them, you know, be on a side, be on a side sharing. It'd be fun. Yeah. Um, so to wrap this up, give, let's, let's give the uh, kind of like our little tips and tricks of what we have learned. Um, so what are, what are your, some of the tips and tricks and advice that you would give? Um, <clears throat> if you're going to do any of the run Disney events, I recommend staying on property while you're there. Um, because you can use transportation to get to and from the expo center and to and from the race, which was a big deal because there were people in their cars who probably were local or maybe doing Airbnb or whatever, but trying to like figure out how to get into the parking looked like a nightmare. So (laughs) it was nice for us. We stayed at old Key West that trip and walked straight to the entrance, got on a bus and got straight to, you know, well, then we had to walk to our corral, but that's fine. Um, so I definitely recommend staying on property if you're doing any of the run Disney events. Um, and really taking advantage of still, you, not necessarily even being in the parks, but being in the bubble while you're there. Like, do the expo. Go to Disney Springs. Bring your bib and get your discount. But there are just so many people that are doing the same event as you, and they're so excited as well. Like, just have fun with it. Mm-hmm. and But don't be like, no, I'm running, so I have to go to bed and I have to, you know, carbo load this night and I can't I have to be in bed. Blah, blah. You know, I, I get it. Be in bed within reason, but still enjoy yourself. Um, I think that's really important because I think that's where you'll maximize this, the fun, I don't know, the fun of it yeah. all is to be able to do both. If I can give any piece of advice, it would be this. And I've already mentioned it once, but I'll reiterate it is that even though it's a really fun race, just train a (laughs) little bit, get yourself prepared because it is, it was tough. Yeah. Um, it wasn't, it wasn't easy. It was fun, but it wasn't easy. So, you know, definitely train, train, train. Um, if I can give you, let's see, another piece of advice to kind of go into the race is make sure you're eating something, balanced in the morning before your race but not too much yeah um luckily we had casey's dad which he knows all about you know pre-run meals <laughs> and he did a good job but like i would have never thought about some of them i would have probably just had like a granola bar yeah and been over with it i didn't even never thought about having like a schedule of eat this here when you wake up and then eat this right before your race you know yeah I didn't think about that. So um, have a good training plan and have a good plan for the actual race because you're going to need it. Um, Even though, like, I I don't know, I I was not prepared for that race. I never did a half marathon, and um, it was fun, but I learned a lot. The last thing is enjoy it. Yes. There, There was so many people when we were running it that were just pushing their way through the castle, pushing their way down the ramp, and just pushing their way through. And I'm like... This is Disney World. Yeah. Like, we are running through... I do remember... The Magic Kingdom. ...going through the castle. Because, you know, it's not... You think it's so huge when you just walk through it on a day during the parks. But if you have X amount of thousand people trying to run through the castle at once... Yeah. You have to sardine yourselves. And you have no choice. You have to slow down. And for some reason that year, some of the, like, elite runners who were running for time got booted to back corrals. And so we all got to the castle and they were... I mean, they were running for time. This, like can get you into the Boston Marathon if you finish in a correct time. So they were trying to run through all of us. But, like, honest to God, stampeding people down. And we were like, this is a castle, like, in Disney? You know what I mean? And elbow me? Oh, yep, you're going to elbow me. Unless you're you're running for time because you want to get into a big race somewhere, great. But if you're just there to have, like, enjoy it, literally enjoy it. Just enjoy it. Just enjoy it. Just run through and just enjoy the experience of being in Disney World. It is just an amazing experience, something I can't even explain to you unless you have run through it. Um, but just enjoy it. That's also, the biggest you thing. feel like you really deserve those churros after. Yes. So do it and then eat whatever you want. Um, also, just real quick, I know we said that we were finished. Sorry. Oh, um, I don't want to discredit the 5K and the 10K as well. Mm-hmm. Um you do not have to participate in the half or the full. You can register for just the 5K or the 10K mm-hmm. and still participate in all of these events. You still 
well, anybody could be there for the weekend, but, um, they're still really fun. And like my cousin does all the 10 K she's run more than I do. And she's, she does all the 10 K she's love. She loves them. So, um, don't think, or like, don't be scared that you have to do a half or full. You can always yeah. register for the 5K or 10K, but they do sell out before anything else. Extremely quick. Also, they do have kids' events, too. So if you have kids, go to the rundisney.com website and check that out. There's 100-meter dash, 200-meter dash, and a one-miler. And we just found out a, a diaper crawl. Yeah. Because that sounds fun. Harlow's future. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you guys are running this weekend, uh, have Good fun. Luck. Be safe. Good luck. Props to you. Oh, absolutely. And um, just hope you guys enjoy it. Like, just enjoy the weekend. Yeah. Enjoy everything about it. Um, and share pictures. If you guys are running and you follow us, hit us up on social media and show us some pictures of your run. Yeah, we we'd love, love to share to them on our them. blog, too. Absolutely. And uh, we should do a blog about our experience running. I think that would be a good one, too. Um, but, yeah. So, have a good time. Please go follow us on social media, on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Um, go check us out at explorethemouse.com. I actually redesigned the website a little bit and kind of changed it up. Uh, and then check us out on all the major platforms of Apple iTunes. Uh, what else are we on? iHeartRadio and Spotify. Yep. So check us out on that. And uh, besides that, I think that's the end of it. Have fun, guys. Have fun and have a great weekend. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. The bare necessities of life will come to you.